Thank you very much. Now we're going to go to the sort of the man, the legend, who studied with Haydn for a while and then set off on a path that uh, really, really changed history. And uh, one of the great things about this piece is that um, it speaks to a wonderful friendship, one of the great friendships in history, I think, of uh, Beethoven and the Archduke Rudolf. And as we all know, Beethoven um, didn't get along with everybody so well, you know, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, none of the women he loved, you know, settled down with him, and none of the women he loved, parents, liked him. So, so it, was, it, was a, it was a tough go. Um, he had to deal with, you know, aristocrats and all of that nonsense. And, uh, and, and the Archduke was uh, the rare exception. He was, you know, he was, you know, a nobleman, but he was also a, an amateur musician, so he studied music with Beethoven. Uh, they shared meals, drinks, laughter. Uh, when Beethoven was going to li leave Vienna because he wasn't making enough money, uh, the Archduke supported him, raised the salary for him. So as a wonderful result, as long as we know the, the name Beethoven, we will know the name the Archduke Rudolf because Beethoven dedicated many works to him, including this uh, wonderful piano trio. As you can imagine, the first movement is very stately, you know, quite regal at times. And while there are some moments of drama, we don't get a lot of the fury uh, in this piece because he's really, really got his friend on his mind. The second movement is a scherzo, but it's quite raucous uh, at times, especially in the middle section, big loud chords, and it, it becomes you know, really quite orchestral and uh, almost heavy at times for a typical scherzo. A little bit of a, a surprise ending. Is it gonna end quiet? Is it gonna end loud? We're not gonna tell you. <laughs> and then uh, the slow movement is, is really a, almost like a blend of, a, of a, a chorale and a lullaby. It's just this really beautiful, beautiful opening and, and the piano and strings, we just sort of you know, trade off the tune. The pulse gets a little bit quicker. I mean, we'll go from quarter notes to triplets to eighth notes to sixteenths and so forth. Actually, not quite in that order. But, uh, uh, but the note values get quicker, but the flow of the chorale remains the same throughout uh, the, these beautiful variations. And then this leads right into the last movement, which is a, a much more dance-like, rambunctious kind of atmosphere. And then again at the end, he does that great thing where, you know, after, after some, after some you know, activity in the, in the coda, things get a little bit quieter, a little bit slower. Bye. <laughs> See you later. And he sort of fades off. And, th and then he ends it. So hope you enjoy. Thanks.